All right, so I'm here right now to test this new Comica TrackShot Pro uh, shotgun microphone. As you can see, I moved this. You can't really hear me that well. Um, but I, when I bring it back, you hear me much better. There's one in the front, one in the back. You can actually move them both either way. Um, but I thought for sports, it could be interesting to use it that way. So maybe I have the crowd behind me, the game in front of me. Right now, everything's behind me, so it's not helping at all. But um, if I was to turn around, do it like this. So basically the idea now is that all that crazy noise is coming from behind me, uh, from in front of me, sorry, and you can hear me better with this one. You can separate audio, you can merge it together, you can do whatever. Um, so anyway, I'll test that. I'll try to have the game in front of me while having the crowd behind me and see if that separates pretty well. So that way you can mix it much better in the edit. Um, I have no idea if it'll work, but uh, I'll see what I can do. One thing that I forgot to consider while conducting my experiment is the crowd on the other side of the field. Even though I feel like the TrackShot Pro was doing a very decent job of separating the audio from the fans behind me and the action in front of me, it's kinda hard to tell in this video because of the added noise from the fan section straight across from me. But in this clip, for example, on the microphone that was pointing backwards, you can clearly hear drums being played behind me. But if I play the same clip with the audio from the microphone pointing forward, even something as loud as a drum becomes much harder to hear. I mean, you can still hear it, of course, but really not that much though. And with a clip like this next one, I can choose to focus on the crowd reaction, or I can choose to focus on the sound of the helmets crashing into each other. Comica describes this mic as a super cardioid, transformable, all-in-one shotgun microphone, which I think is pretty accurate. Like I mentioned before, you can point both microphones pretty much anywhere you want, and the audio quality that they record is quite impressive for a consumer-level microphone that can work on any mirrorless camera or even smartphone with a 3.5mm input. You can manually choose to record your audio separately or mix together. Or you can leave it on auto. And in this automatic mode, basically if the angle between the two microphones is less than 30 degrees, everything is mixed together as one mono audio track. But as soon as you have an angle of 30 degrees or more, the audio from both microphones is recorded separately. And of course the LCD screen at the back lets you know every time this switch happens, so you always know what's going on. Otherwise the TrackShot Pro comes with all the cables you need to connect it to a camera, a phone or a computer, as well as two windshields and a very nice hard shell case. The mic itself feels very robust and durable, and the battery inside can apparently last up to 22 hours on one single charge. But keep in mind that I haven't tested this theory. One thing that I really like about it is that it turns on automatically when you turn on your camera, and it also turns itself off when you shut down your camera. So it's basically impossible to not record any audio or drain your battery overnight by mistake. So ultimately, I think that the TrackShot Pro is probably made more specifically for vloggers. Uh, you know, if you want to be able to record both sides of a conversation with someone uh, in high quality at both ends, this is a great product. Same thing with podcasters. Same thing if you're interviewing people um, a lot. Like if you got two subjects and you want to be able to record them both simultaneously, this is great for that. As far as for, for us sports videographers, well, obviously, if you're doing interviews, it's great, but uh, I think for 189 US, I wouldn't necessarily recommend like replacing your current shotgun microphone with this one if you're already happy with your audio quality. But if you're in the market for a new shotgun mic, I truly believe that this is a great option for the price. The audio quality is just as good as a Rode shotgun microphone around the same price. And as an added bonus, you get two mics for the price of one. So it's kind of a no-brainer in my book. Anyway, there's a link in the description below if you want to buy or simply learn more about the Comica TrackShot Pro. But if you already own a shotgun mic and you're more interested in wireless microphones so that you can start producing your own mic'd up videos like this one. Let's go, boy! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
Make sure you go watch the video appearing on your screen right now to learn more about budget wireless microphones and see which ones I recommend and why.